Christian Council by Finelo. Twenty-eight. Pure love only can suffer a right, and the love is the suffering. We know that we must suffer and that we deserve it. Nevertheless, we are always surprised and affliction, as if we thought we neither merited nor had need of it. It is only true and pure love that delights to endure, for nothing else is perfectly abandoned. Resignation induces us to bear pain, but、uh, there is a, a something in it which is afflicted in suffering and resists. The resignation that measures out its abandonment to God with a selfish reflection is a willing to suffer, but is constantly examining to ascertain whether it suffers acceptably. In fact, the resigned soul is a composed, as it were, of two persons, one keeping the other in subjection and watching lest it should revolt. In pure love, unselfish and abandoned, the soul is fed in silence on the cross, and our union with. The crucified Savior, without any reflections on the severity of its sufferings, there exists but a single simple will, which permits God to see it just as it is, without endeavoring to behold itself. It says nothing, does nothing. What then does it do? It suffers. And is this all? Yeah, all. Has nothing else to do but to suffer. Love can be heard easily enough, without the speech or thought. It does all that is required to do, which is to have no will when it is stripped of all consolation. The purest of all loves is a will so filled with that of God that there remains. Nothing else. What a consolation it is to think that we are then rid of so many anxieties about our exercise of patience and the other virtues in the sight of those about us. It's enough to be humbled and abandoned in the midst of suffering. This is not courage. It is something both more than less, less in the eyes. Of the ordinary class of Christians, more in the eyes of a pure faith, is a humiliation which raises the soul into all the goodness of God, a weakness which strips it of every resource to bestow upon it His omnipotence. When I am weak, says Saint Paul, then I am strong. I can do all things through Christ, which. Strengthens me. Second Corinthians, twelve, ten, Philippians, four, thirteen. It is suffices then to feed upon some short sentences suit, suited to our state and our taste, with the frequent interruptions to quiet the senses and make room for the inward spirit of reflection. We sometimes suffer, scarcely knowing that、uh, we are in distress, and other time we suffer and know that we bear it. All, we bear it ill, but we carry this second, heavier cross without impatience. True love goes ever straightforward, not in its own strength, but esteeming itself as nothing. Indeed, we are truly happy. The cross is no longer a cross when there is.